More local news now. Graphic pictures show a cat mauled to death in Milwaukee, and neighbors are not sure if the elusive and alleged lion killed it. Today marks four days since the initial lion sighting. And there have been more calls about that alleged lion so far. Nobody's been able to provide proof other than a couple of grainy videos. Todd Hicks has been following the story. He joins us live now with the latest. Todd. Well, Steve and Carol, it's the gruesome find here in this neighborhood that have people calling this Milwaukee lion real. And now some neighbors here say other animals may be missing. You don't need to convince Melissa Verdeen and her husband Brian this video is real. I believe it's true. A woman captured the images of what looks like a lion roaming in Brewers Hill. Now the Verdeens who live in the Harambee neighborhood say their neighbor discovered this mauled cat. Its head was removed and insides ripped to shreds. People here say this is not the work of a coyote or raccoon. I don't know if a coyote could take a whole body of a cat. I mean, we're talking this big. I don't. I'm I mean, it was like ripped off. Officials from the state came here to examine the dead animal, but they haven't revealed their findings. Melissa says she feeds several wild cats in the area, but many of them have not turned up for days. And then there's the issue of small children who live here. Are you concerned? Yes, I am concerned because I have uh, grandchildren who like to play in the yard. Now she can't stop thinking it's real and lurking somewhere nearby. And I was pulling weeds and I felt someone watching us and I said, Brian, I feel like somebody's watching us. Can you imagine having somebody or something watching you out in this neighborhood? Now, I reached out to zoo officials today. They didn't want to do an interview, but they tell me that their lions eat anywhere between three and seven pounds of meat every day. We're live near Holton and North tonight. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Hopefully we can find whatever it is. Thank you, Todd.